Hey there, this is Michael Hicks, and in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some of the elastomeric masks, the elastomeric P100s, that I wear to help keep me safe from COVID and other airborne pathogens. And also, um, you know, a lot of people don't think about this, but you know, any, any air quality issues. So like in the Northwest, whenever during the summer when there are fires and stuff, these will help protect you from smoke and, and things like that as well. But the primary focus, of course, um, in this day and age is COVID and keeping you, keeping you safe from that. So these masks, uh, they are the, the rubber, you know, kinds of things with filters on them and stuff like that. So I have four of them. We're going to be looking at all four today and let's get to it. Um, and I'm going to say right up front, these are your best option for staying safe. Um, you know, N95s are, are great. I'm not saying that, you know, N95s aren't good enough, but in some situations they're not. Um, these masks, um, which are made of, you know, rubber, silicone, other, other types of materials. Um, again, if you find one that, that seals properly and fits properly, it will protect you better than anything other than a PAPR, which is a, you know, an active air respirator that, you know, is blowing filtered air through a mask or a hood. Um, to you know keep you safe but this is a as a type of mask will keep you safer than any of the other mask types so i just bar none so first one i'm just going in order that i bought them in this is a dentec comfort air it is a a p100 and um, i'm not going to go into the details of the of the standards but P100 is significantly better than N95 um, in terms of what it's filtering out. These are rubber or silicone. The Dentec is a, is a rubber uh, type of construction. Now, the one thing I don't like about the Dentec, um, and a lot of people love these, is I don't care for the straps. The straps are pretty, um, they're just pretty cheesy, if you will. So this would probably, that would be, probably be the first, the first part of the mask to go. Now these filters, um, like with any P100, um, these just twist off. Now different companies have different um, mounting systems. So it's gonna depend on, on what you get, but all of them have that, you know, they, they twist off, click off, or click together. So let me take my glasses off, um, put this on, and I'm gonna try to, talk at a normal volume so you can also get an idea because one of the biggest downsides of P100s, whoops, aside from trying to get the neck strap connected, um, it's another thing I don't really like about the Dentec, the, the straps, the neck strap's kind of, kind of a pain. Um, one of the downsides of P100s is, is that it's harder for people to hear you. Now the Dentec does, has, it does have source control, which means that your exhalations are being filtered. So your incoming air as you breathe in is going through these filters, and when you breathe out, it's also going through these filters. There's no exhalation valve. So that means you're being protected, but on the off chance that you're infected, others are being protected as well. Okay, so if you're around kids, um, anyone who's vulnerable, hospitals, whatever, um, you know, this is probably the, the source control variation is probably, that's what you should probably be using. So anyway, the Dentec, um, a lot of people love it. Um, it does not fit me well. It doesn't seal very well. Um, and it's uncomfortable. Again, the bridge of my nose is my bane. Um, and a lot of masks just don't, don't fit me well there. And this is one of them. But again, having said that, Lots of people love this mask, um, and again, if it fits you, if it's comfortable, and if it seals well, then that's probably the mask for you. <clears throat> now, this mask, in the review that I did on Pandemic Enclave, I, I actually weighed these, um, so I can't remember whether this is one of the heavier ones. I think it is. It's not one of the lighter masks that, that I have, <clears throat> but... Again, this is a good one if it fits you. Like I said, my main complaint is the, the straps are kind of kind of rinky dink. But so that's the Dentec Comfort Air. Now the second mask 
that I got. This mask um, is used at a tuberculosis um, clinic, basically where it's it's a it's a small hospital where where they treat tuberculosis patients. And these masks have been in use since 1996, and they have never had a staff member, and, and all the staff use these, they have never had a staff member um, test positive for tuberculosis. They've never had any of them infected there since 1996. So this is the Honeywell North 7700. Now, I specifically got this mask just because, you know, they use them at the center. Um, and it's, it's ba this is basically my benchmark mask here. Now, one thing that I really love about the 7700 that <clears throat> a lot of masks, that actually most masks, at least that I've, that I've seen so far, don't have, the entire mask piece is made of silicone, which means that it's very, it is very soft, it's very supple, it's very, um, it's much more comfortable, and it seals really, really well. Um, <clears throat> The other thing about the 7700 is, you know, it's, it's, this is a pretty industrial strength mask. Like these straps, these straps are, you know, they're substantial. They're not, you know, um, like I said, the, the one, my one complaint about the Dentec or the, the Dentec is, is the straps. Um, now this mask downside, um, is this one has an exhalation valve. So the air that you're breathing in is going into the filter, again, P100 filters. And when you exhale, it comes out of here. Now, you know, if you're in an environment that has vulnerable folks in it, you should not be wearing one of these, or you should be blocking this, blocking this port. Um, I would say actually you shouldn't be wearing one just to be on the safe side. Uh, however, if you are out somewhere where no one's masking, like at my work, no one masks, at this point in the pandemic, it's like, well, you know what, guys, I'm probably your lowest risk factor, so um, I'm not going to worry about it. And you may agree with that, you may not, but there we go. Uh, so now this mask, or the, the North Series mask, the filters unscrew, okay? And again, you know, every ma manufacturer has its own different thing. But basically this means that, you know, Whenever you screw that filter on there, there's no leakage, okay? Now, let me put this on. And also, the nice thing about the straps, well, first of all, you're gonna hear, I kind of sound like I'm reverberating a little bit or something, and that's an effect of the exhaust valve here and your voice coming through it. Uh, so, this mask is really comfortable on your face at least it is for me and this is one of the few that like i have zero issues on on my nose up here it seals tight all the way around and that's without the mask being on here um real tight now some people kind of crank these straps down i don't need to because i get a good seal and you can check with a negative pressure test you block off the the filters Whoop. actually i spoke too soon reposition but that's why you check you so in, block the filters off then you inhale and you should hear nothing there should be no air you know coming into the mask there i got a good seal so i probably tighten this up a little bit just been hanging for in the closet for a day or so so anyway this is the 7700 now a tip from someone on twitter one thing is that i tend to get headaches wearing these for for a long time because the next strap so what you can do with some of these, if the neck strap is long enough, is you can actually wrap it up through this piece, right? So you take the straps and put them through there. So the straps basically are going up this way and not actually going around your neck. And that maintains a good seal, but takes kind of takes a strain off, off your neck right there. Now, if there's a downside to this mask, um, again, aside from the concern about the source control issues, uh, it's that it's heavier. It's heavier than, than the other masks. So that can, you know, that even though it doesn't seem like much, that stress on your, on your neck all day can be a bit. But this is my, if I had one mask um, to go with, it would be this one. Um, again, comfort uh, and so on. 
And another thing, one advantage that exhalation valves offer is you don't build up condensation in the mask um, nearly as much as you do with source control masks. So like with the Dentac, um, if you wear this very long, you're going to have to, you know, go out somewhere and, and dump this out because there's going to be water in here that's just condensation from your breath, okay? And some people take stuff like, you know, those dental cotton things and, and stick in there and then, of course, get rid of them and clean the mask. But condensation in there is an issue. Okay, so the next mask I got <clears throat> was another Honeywell. This is another Honeywell North. It's the HM501T. Now, this one, I don't have the filters on. They take the same filters as the 7700. So, you have these nice lavender, purple, whatever color filters those are, P100s. Now, one thing about this mask, it is light. This is a very light mask. Um, now, it is made of kind of a, a, you know, solid plastic material here, and then a softer material here, but this is not... I don't believe this is silicone. This is a little firmer than uh, the 7700 is. But put it on. You know, one thing for me, this mask, I wish they made the, the neck strap longer because the neck strap on me is actually pretty tight. But this mask, this is very light. Um, again, easy to get a negative pressure check on um, for me it's again pretty comfortable the only thing I don't like is the neck strap and these straps are not long enough to do the trick where you go through the bottom of the of the crown loop now another thing for those of you who wear glasses so the 7700 and this one um, I can wear glasses and it's no issue so again it's going to depend on your glasses and so on but this mask um, Again, is a is a really good one. This is a super mask. Um, again, I just wish they, they made these straps longer. Now, I'm sure I could rig something up, but I mean, just out of the box, you know, that's for me, that's kind of an issue. Um, but again, I want to emphasize super light, super light. Um, and again, I have the I have the weights and grams on on my website with with these. But so HM five hundred one T. Again, um, this is another winner. Uh, can't can't go wrong with that. But again, this does not have source control. Okay, so you have an exhalation valve here. So again, if you're around vulnerable people, nope. Okay, now this one um, is one of the more unusual ones. Now, this mask is the MSA Advantage 900. Okay. So, as you can see, this one is not the kind of industrial gray or black or whatever. It's this, you know, nice kind of, I don't know, whatever, aqua, turquoise, whatever that is with, with gray. Now, this mask has a couple of different features. And again, P100 filters, but again, specific to MSA. Um, twist on, twist off. This mask um, has a speaking diaphragm, uh, which in theory helps aid in audibility. It does not. It does not have an exhalation valve, so it does have source control. But that also means condensation buildup, right? Um, now this one has kind of a cool feature. It's like, whoa! How do you get that on your head? So the crown loop is back here. Now, then you just pull this up, and there you go. So again, negative pressure test. Good seal. So this one. Um, again, this is one that I typically wear to work, uh, and sometimes I'll take this and the 7700 because if I'm just working at my desk, uh, I'll wear the 7700 because it is more comfortable for me. This one, this one right here, again, you know, the bridge of my nose, it still kind of impinges there a bit, but the speaking diaphragm, um, does seem to work pretty well. I mean, I, I've been in a, in an auditorium and had to talk to people who are like, you know, an audience that was like spread out over 40 or 50 feet and they could hear me okay. You have to project, but they were able to hear me. Um, and also it doesn't break the seal whenever I'm talking, um, even whenever I'm talking loud, because you can tell, hello, uh, if that seal is broken. Now this one, you know, you could probably do the, 
do the crown loop thing, um, that little trick. I just I just haven't bothered, but but I think the straps on this are long enough you could do that. Now, a nice feature of this, especially if you're concerned about um, anything from security checks at the airport to having to um, do a driver's license test where they you know they want a picture of your face, right? Uh, or or just you know something like just getting a sip of water. What you can do with this thing is. You can breathe in, hold your breath, unsnap it. That just falls away from your face. Get your picture taken, have your ID checked, get a sip of water. Breathe out to clear the mask. And you're good. Okay. Now, I will point out that I believe the this HM501T, uh, the North Mask, I believe the HM502T uh, does the same kind of thing, so that it has a different mat strap arrangement. But anyway, so um, this, I, this I found is kind of a handy feature because, you know, you don't have to mess around with this. And also, if you're in a job where you wear a helmet or any type of headgear, you know, you don't have to take all that off to, you know, to drop the mask. Again, if you need to drink or eat or, you know, whatever you need to do. And it's also very easy without looking. Just a little practice to get it strapped back again. And the strap and the, the connectors on this one um, are probably some of the best um, among these masks. It's, it's very easy to, to get clipped there. Um, one other detail about this mask that MSA mentions in the description is there the the only metal in this mask is aluminum and that's the speaking diaphragm so they actually say this is safe for MRI environments so if you're looking for a mask uh, for MRI environments whatever you know I assume that means I assume that means even if you're in the MRI but this one they actually say it's safe for MRI environments so again, the, the main downside to this one, condensation. Um, and for me, uh, the top of the mask, again, I can't wear this one nearly as long as I can wear the 7700 um, just because it, it puts pressure on the bridge of my nose. But this one is a good one. Now, in terms of price, this is the most expensive one that I have. So this, the mask was around 60 bucks. Um, for the filters, I think it was another five or 10. But this was the most expensive mask. Um, I can't remember what all the others were, although I think the 7700 is around $30, $35, something like that. Again, with another $5 to $10 for the filters. And also, um, Honeywell has a ton, has a ton of different filters covering all kinds of different, um, you know, safety needs. So if you're a hobbyist or a painter or something like that and you're looking for safety gear, this might be one to look into that you can also use to keep you safe uh, from COVID or any other airborne diseases. So anyway, that's all I have. Um, I hope you found this useful. And again, if you have any comments, you can um, hit me up on Twitter. I'll put my, <laughs> it's, it's Michael, a bunch of numbers. Uh, and I'll put that in the, in the description for the video and, and pandemiconclave.org. Uh, is the website, so I, I blog from there and so on. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Uh, have a great day and stay safe out there. Okay, bye.